Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. So today we're over on the test server and we are looking at the Bountiful Trials or the uh, Arena of Trials of Morale. So there she is, guys. A lot of players have said she, she doesn't seem very useful overall, not too impressed with the skills and ability that, that she possesses. A lot of players are saying that when it comes to Dark Nomura, she is going to replace Shamira a, a lot again. A lot of things you hear on Reddit, a lot of things you hear on Discord are really here nor there because we haven't seen her actually in the game. We haven't seen her really built out. We haven't seen formations with her. So here we do have 60 elite stones as we always do, 60 of our rare stones there and a little bit of resources. So let's go ahead and check out her trial. We'll run the, through this really quick. Like I said, guys, it, honestly, it is too early right now to say, oh, she's going to be great. Oh, she's not going to be this. She's not going to be that. Um, we have to spend time and see exactly what she's what she's going to be. So ultimately, guys, we're using Hendrick in this. We're using Gorbo. We are going to go with Scrath, and then we're going to go with Lorzen. So this is going to provide the link. So right there's the link. Also, we do have the crowd control. So everyone's in the middle. To take advantage of the orb and this little um, ultimate, ultimate ability she does right there to draw everybody into that orb. So that little shockwave, as you can see, it is pulling the heroes back into it, um, doing damage essentially. But the question is, how much damage is she doing? So right there, look at Scrath 297. She's at 165, so not too much damage right there um, with what she's doing. And she is a mage, so ultimately... I would kind of expect her damage to be a little bit higher, but since we look at Ullard, we look at a, a bunch of other heroes, not, not really too high on damage. This one, we are gonna stay with the exact same team. Again, we have the pull together there. We have the back line, of course, the full shields provided by Lorzen, very, very powerful. And here's the little star. It kind of comes off to one enemy on the side. So even this one probably didn't do much damage. Well, 2.81. So a little bit better, again, it's really going to be dependent on what formations they that they run her with. Ultimately, a lot of people have said running together with Scarath is what a lot of people recommended. And I think a lot of the combinations that they kind of run here are different. Like this one has Satrana, it runs Brutus. Then we have her right in the bottom, but we have Mortis and we have Nara. So not a big team to really... Put the heroes together, especially with um, with Mahira coming right over here. And right there's the little orb. There's the ring that her damage is in. But again, overall, it it might be too early to tell, but I don't think it seems... It doesn't seem super impressive. It, it seems a little disappointed with the damage that she's doing and kind of how she's performing... A lot of players have said that the, the draw-in, so when she actually uses her ability, the draw-in is not strong enough. It, it doesn't provide enough of a pull, especially for a team like this that is a pushback. Boom, there's the orb. Doesn't even look like anyone's in it in this case, so it moves up here. But again, there's the little gravity pull, pulling all of the heroes in. But again, look how slow the gravity pull is. Yeah, that, that is very, very slow. You're going to have to have a hero like Queen or you're going to have to have a Scarath in there um, to, to continuously bring those heroes together and make this work, whether it's stacking them in the back line, which this is what this, this team comp does. So we have Anoki and Cirrus to stack everyone in the back line. We're going to go with Rose and Belinda, of course, for the super nuke combo. So I'm thinking the combination of these two are going to bring everyone to the back line or keep everyone to the back line. There we go. There's the big push. Remember, Cirrus also provides a push, which we didn't get to see in this one, but overall 2.69, so not too bad. 2 million there from Belinda, which remember, Rose was following Morel, so she should have done quite a bit more damage in my opinion. But again, guys, don't discount her yet just for the simple fact that it is still a brand new hero. We, we really have to test her, see where she's going to work. But overall, like a lot of players are saying, not to not to impress with the skills and abilities so far. So that, that's kind of what I'm um, 
basing it on right now is the skills and abilities that we've seen with her so far have not been super, super impressive, but very nice to run. Three teams in here to get this done. Go ahead and pick up your crystal chest, get your free elite hero. Do not miss any of these arena up trials, guys. They are very, very important. So let's just take a minute. We're gonna go through her skills and abilities one more time. So we can see, because remember in there, they are completely maxed out plus 30 signature item. Um, and they have furniture as well. So at the start of the battle, she creates a star core, which we've seen in those battles, remains on the battlefield. When she uses the ultimate, it generates a field for six seconds by the star core that will trap nearby enemies. While the field exists, morale deals 120% damage per second to enemies trapped in it. If an enemy escapes, it does damage, which it didn't look like. I didn't see many enemies escape, so that stun will be very, very minimal. If heroes don't come out of there, you'll never see the stun. So a little drawback there. Commands the star core to move to the most densely concentrated area of enemies, which deals 60% damage to enemies on the way. So again, her damage doesn't seem that high. Cosmic Fusion, she charges the star core with cosmic power, causing it to explode, damaging nearby enemies, which it has a very small radius. So ultimately, again, not doing that much damage unless you have Queen, Scrath, a couple other heroes really bringing that core in together. Then, of course, the Celestial Blessing or passive ability. During battle, the star core gathers energy over time. Once the core is finished, it transfers energy to her and allies close to it, which again, if it has to be within that small proximity, that is very, very small. Star core is able to gather 10% of its total energy per second. So, so again, she definitely needs something in here. During battles, each time an enemy hero is near the core, loses 1% health and it gathers more energy. As we can see, it keeps getting stronger and stronger, but ultimately, just like we've seen in the battle, doesn't really seem to make that big of a difference. If an enemy walks into the star core, which again, that is big, big RNG, um, and has already been created by Moriel's ultimate ability, they shall become trapped. The enemy leaves, does a little bit of um, later trapped again. Damage dealt this time is reduced by 20%. So it even does less damage. Again, it doesn't seem like she's doing the most damage. When the cosmic field exists, all enemies on the battlefield are pulled towards the star core. That's what we've seen when we went through the arena of trials with the gravitational force. But the 9 of 9, the, the pull is very, very tiny, guys. If it was a vacuum that pulled them quickly to really group them up, keep them together, super, super powerful. But it seems like right now with her 9 of 9, right now, it, it seems a little disappointed. Again, a little too early to tell. Wait till we get her up on the global servers, which will be tomorrow, guys. So the patch will drop tomorrow. She'll be up and available to use, and you guys can go ahead and run through the arena of trials yourself. See what you think of her. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.